This is a quick tutorial on how to use the layer slider for WordPress. First you'll go to your URL for the login for WordPress using your credentials. Click login and then you'll notice over here under the dashboard that we have layer slider WP. That's where we want to go to make changes to uh, any of the slides that we want to make changes to. So we'll click on add sliders and I've created a tutorial slider already so that we wouldn't have to um, interfere with anything that's already in the vacation specials until you get a chance to, to get it all down you can practice in here or you can hit the hidden button and I'll show that to you in a bit. But you click on tutorial slider for this tutorial and slider one needs an image for the background so we're gonna it's already defaulting to that slide click on click to set and then for the sake of making this easier on you I have prefaced all of the background images for the different pro promos you may do uh, with the word promo so if you type in promo in the search box in the upper right hand corner you'll be presented with all of the images that I created if you're not certain what each image is representative of, you can click on that image and look over here to the right under title and it'll say Promo Viking. Um, this one here happens to be Vacation Express. This one is uh, Palace, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first one uh, for Viking and we'll hit insert. I've already made this in advance. I've made them the correct size, which is 1,000 pixels wide by 425 pixels tall at a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. So in the future if you want to create your own background for the sake of uh, creating a special those are the dimensions you would need in order for this to work right in the slider. Okay we've got the base set up so now we're going to add in components or elements to build the slide. So you click on the first one and we're going to name it Heading. Now I want to add a heading to this particular slide so I click on the text button down here in the middle and then I type in the, the I want it to be an H1 tag and it's going to be um, save 25 percent on let me see on Viking cruises, if I could spell. Okay, so I've got that. Everything that I type in or place in there as an image is always going to show up in the upper left hand corner. But as soon as it does, you can grab that and pull it to virtually anywhere you want to pull it to on the stage. And you don't have to be stuck with that particular color or size. Uh, this will be the default color and it actually is contrasting on this background so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right over here and now I wanna add another layer for my intro text so I'm gonna click on here call this layer intro text I'm gonna come back over here again in the middle and click on the text icon and paragraph is what I want now now this is just like typing in uh, HTML code. If you want a line break, you have to put in a, a break tag. So I'll show you that. Um, I'm just going to make up some text just for the sake of this tutorial. Um, if booked, oh, well, that's more like a, that's not really an intro. Alright, again that's going to put that up here in this corner and that's pretty small so what I'm going to do now is show you how to change the font size and color and so on. You do that by coming over here to styles and down here in the lower corner you can choose any color you want and if the colors you want aren't in this area here then go to the basically the color family so if I click there 
Then I can come over here and say I want it to be that color. And let's see if we can move that around so it's legible. That's not too bad. But I don't like the yellow because it's still um, not really contrasting the way I want it to be. So I'm going to come in here and make it, uh, let's say, a real dark blue, like a navy or something. Now, still pretty small, so I'm going to come over here to size, and I'm going to type in the, the pixel size that I want that to be. And I want it to be 18. And you'll notice that if you mouse over and hover over any of these text boxes, you'll get a tool tip that pops up and, and explains what the purpose of that box is for. So I'm going to put in 18 pixels. There you go, that looks a lot better. Now, if I wanted to break this, if, if it was more of a like a paragraph than just a one-liner, then I would come back here to content, and I'd say, all right, I want to put a break in there, so I'd put an uh, angle bracket, BR, and then close it with another angle bracket. And you'll notice how it put it into two lines. And so you could have an entire paragraph. I wouldn't advise putting too much content in there because you got to realize it's only going to be up there for a few seconds and it has to be kind of like a billboard when you're driving down a highway at 70 miles an hour. Uh, it needs to be short and sweet, get to the point, uh, but make it uh, something creative and you could probably lean on on your affiliates uh, for the type of uh, narrative that they use in their advertising so it all it gels with what they do. Now, the only thing I have left to do is put a call to action button on there. So I'm going to add yet another layer. And by the way, uh, before I actually save this for the first time, I'm going to go over here and say I want it to be hidden. That's real important to remember because if not, when you start doing this for real, uh, whatever you do is going to appear in the slider once you hit Save Changes. So we're obviously we're not done yet, so we don't want this to go live on the website. So we're going to go in here and uh, click on the Add New Layer. I'm going to call this button. Now that's saved it, but it's hidden over here, so it doesn't matter that we've saved it now. It's still on the back end because it's work in progress. So this button's going to be a graphic, and I've already created a graphic for you to use. If you don't like it, you can find another one or create another one that you like better, or I can help you do that. But click on Image, and then we come down here to where it says Click to Set, and we're going to set that image. Now it happens to be right up here because I recently added it. However, if you've added more images over a period of time, that may get lost uh, all the way down to the middle somewhere. If that does happen, you can always go in here to the search box again and type in the word learn, since I named it learn more. See over here it's learn more dash button. So if you just type in the first few letters, it'll isolate this particular graphic to make it easier for you to find. So you click on insert. Again, it's up here in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to bring it down, well, let's say right here. I'm just going to bring it down here. You'll notice that it has a nice drop shadow and a transparent background. It's a PNG file. Okay, now all we have to do is link this button to a page that's going to describe this particular 25% off on Viking Cruises. To do that, while we're on this button layer, layer number three, we'll come over here to link. Now, it'll be helpful to know in advance, and I'm going to open this link in a new tab, what you're going to be linking it to. So, I don't know, let's, let's just pick one random page to link to. Let's see, it's this one here. Of course, we know this isn't the right one, but we're going to copy this to our clipboard. We're going to come back over here, and we're going to pretend like we want that button to be linked to this URL that we just copied. You'll naturally want to copy it to whatever affiliate's website and landing page that you have with them. If, if they don't provide you with one, you can create your own page by adding a new page. You already know how to do that. Add the promo content to that page, and then you'll put that URL to that, that new page that you created for this particular promo. If you're using a page within your site, you'll want it to open on the same page. But since we're linking up to an affiliate, we're going to click on this and say open on new page. 
So that way it keeps your visitor at your website, but opens it up in a new window to go to your affiliate. Now that we've done that, we can hit Save Changes. Now you've learned how to add a background for the slider that's appropriate to what the slider's purpose is. We've added in a heading, we've added in a paragraph text to show you how to break the lines if you have multiple lines. Showed you how to change the colors, how to uh, change the font size. Now I'm going to enter preview so you can see what the default looks like. Basically fades in the background and then these fade in and slide to uh, the left from the right. Now I'll show you the transitions for this. If we come in and click on heading again, you'll notice over here to the right there's a link called transition and that gives you all of your settings. The reason it slides in from the right and fades in is first of all we got the transition in as set as fade and we have the offset which is offset X is left to right or right to left. That's your horizontal offset. And since we've got it set at a positive 80, it's fading in and the transition's offsetting 80 to the left. If we wanted that to go from uh, left to right, we could do a minus value here and then hit enter preview and you'll notice how it come in from the left. And I'll show you that one more time. There you go. So I think it looks fine to leave the defaults the way they are, but you can play around with these. Again, if you hover over any of these, it'll explain what their purpose is. So if we wanted to offset that heading by, um, say, minus 150, click Enter Preview. See how it comes in now? It's coming in from the top down and moving across. Uh, we can make this a positive value. Let's say we'll make offset 80. Try this again. And it came up and over. Again, watch the save 25% on Viking Cruises line. So you can virtually do this to all of your layers. The intro text, you could come in here to, to and select that. Come over here to transition. And you can change your horizontal and vertical offsets using positive or negative numbers. You can play around with the values of the numbers, either 80 or 60 or 120 or 500 or whatever. Um, and if you have time, you want to go in and start playing around with the durations. You can make certain things come in and stay uh, a little bit longer before the next line comes in and so forth. That's, you can set up delays for each one, how long you want it to delay before it comes in. Uh, just make sure that the values are stepped up uh, accordingly from layer to layer. Um, so I'm going to leave you right there with that. I've given you all the basics. Um, you will not be using the tutorial slider that I created here for your actual working slides. You'll want to go back to all sliders and click on vacation specials. These are all the slides that I've created for you. Now keep in mind when you add a new slide and put it in rotation here, you can grab these and drag them wherever you want. But all of those are going to have Holiday Planners logos on there. So keep that in mind when you're building out your transitions. You're going to have to put in your, your promo text over on the right hand side of the stage or down here below the logo where the logo comes in. You can tell it's kind of coming in at maybe a, a quarter of the way across and almost halfway down. So you have all this other real estate in this window to work with your text. If you have any questions, give me a call or send me an email and let me know. And uh, enjoy learning how to use this. Uh, you can always come back and refer to this tutorial. Again, when you build a brand new one in the live uh, vacation special slider, uh, you'll want to hit this before you hit save the first time so that that particular slide that you've added by coming in here and clicking on the X to add a new slide, you'll click there and then you'll click hidden. Oh, and by the way, I think your logo actually is not in this position on the slider. Um, and we'll look at that later, but just look at your website and wherever this logo lands, uh, it's kind of like a watermark. It's always going to be there, whether it's left or right or whatever, then you'll know where to put the rest of your content for the new sliders. Once you've got a slide built out for a particular promotion, then you can come up here and unhide it and it's ready to go. And then when the promotion's over, you'll come up here and hide it again. 
And then when you get ready to do another promotion for that particular uh, venue or, or destination or cruise or whatever it is, then you can go in there and, and adjust the content for the, the new promotion and then come back in here when you've made all your changes and go up and hit hidden where it's unhidden again, and then you're ready to go. If you have any questions, let me know.